Welcome to the shed. Now, I'm sure you've seen a few of these already on the uh, on YouTube and that. So um, I'm going to save the unboxing part because uh, a lot of people have already done that. So abracadabra, and there you go. So what have we got here? Okay, so this is the this is the Oakmo Retro um, B01 ball top ball top hopper engine. Um, it's a hit and miss engine, and uh, it was designed by um, Jin from uh, Microcosm, who now uh, you know has a company called Oakmo, and he's teamed up with Retro on this on this instance to uh, to bring us this engine. And um, well, it's it's absolutely wonderful. I mean, the style of it is just beautiful. This isn't a toy. This is a fully functional, miniature precision petrol internal combustion engine. And um, so it's it's uh, it's obviously uh, petrol, petrol powered. A little petrol tank there, and it's got a um, the piston bore is. Um, 16 millimeters with a stroke of uh, 14 and a half millimeters uh, which gives it um, 3.6 cc capacity so it, obviously it's petrol fueled it's a spark plug ignition this is the, uh, the ht lead and the spark plug and um, it actually uses the uh, little 316 little 316 miniature um, spark plugs rather than the sort of more common quarter quarter 40 um, and it's obviously powered by a CDI uh, unit which is uh, inside the box here I'll cover that in a moment now it's a total loss oil lubrication system so you've got a tiny little uh, glass faced oil dispenser there and you can adjust the uh, the drip rate of the drip feed with that little um, rotating needle valve there okay so it's um well it's based on the whole engine is based on a an engine which was made by a company called baker manufacturing company and that was out in the usa from um uh where were they where were they evansville wisconsin and um this was known as the monitor gas engine So obviously the hopper there, you can get the lid off, it's got a little tiny lid. And uh, and that is basically, if you would fill that up with water. In fact, I'll do that now while I'm, uh, while I'm talking about it. So just fill it up with water and that'll act as the coolant for the actual engine. It doesn't need to go far up. That's about halfway, so that should be okay. Um, I'll leave the cap off actually for now because when, when the engine's going, it does jump around a bit. So the cap will probably likely jump off anyway so coming around to the fuel system i'll tell you what we'll get some petrol in there and it uses um just regular you know petrol gasoline whatever you call it from uh, wherever you come from um i've got it mixed with a little bit of um where's that gone where's my dispenser gone Always look on the floor for anything you've lost. I usually find that uh, that's where it is. And uh, like I say, this is just, um, just regular petrol, but I have added a, a, a dash of um, two-stroke um, engine oil in there. Let's just put some, I don't know how much is already in here. I've been running it already, but... Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, it's sucking now, isn't it? So I guess that's full then. Okay. Put the lid back on that so I don't knock it over. So put it well out of the way. Okay, so we're uh, we've primed. Well, we're fueled. Let me just uh, get the cap back on. These are always a bit fiddly. As I said, always a bit fiddly. Doesn't help having water fingers. Come on, you little thing. Okay, I've really made that look awkward. 
it's not as bad, bad as that normally especially if your fingers are a bit more uh, nimble than mine now I've seen a lot of the videos where people took this straight out of the box filled it with fuel put a battery in and bing, bingo the, the engine started up now I wasn't quite that lucky um, mine had started but I couldn't keep it running um, I never actually did find out what the main reason was uh, but I fiddled with a load of stuff and eventually I got it to work so well um, or at least that was the plan now you'll see later in this video that I did struggle still to try and keep it running consistently it just wasn't really having it I mean it could start and it stop blah de blah de blah um, so if there's anyone um, out there who you know didn't just get it out of the box and it worked first time but they actually had some problems with it I'd be really grateful to find out what you did or what you found and um because I, I you know when it does run this runs lovely but it just doesn't run for very long for me so uh i'd be grateful if you could tell me what you did and um i'll make a part two uh right so anyway this is a little box inside there you've got the uh, little cdi discharge capacitor unit in there whoops i forgot it's full of water so that's in the bottom there and, it, and all it takes is a single um double a battery uh, so 1.5 volts and we'll pop that in now it is a bit tight in this box to get everything in but it does sort of fit if you give it a good sort of shove uh, another thing the lid of, of the uh, box was a little bit loose so i've just put a little bit of masking tape on a couple of edges right that's better okay so i'll just go a few uh, go through a, you know a few um features of the engine so it's got a nice little brass or probably copper actually uh, fuel pipe normally they're in um you know nylon plastic nylon sort of thing and they can go a bit ugly and then well they do look a bit ugly anyway so you've got a um a governing system down here where you've got that little latch you probably can't see very well let me point it out with something that'll do so you've got a little latch there which uh, when that lifts up that'll drop in okay drop in underneath and it'll hold the exhaust valve open this is the exhaust valve here and it'll hold that open uh, whilst it's running and how that works is um, it's got this little um, it's uh, like a flyweight so rather than having balls or anything this is really quite simple it's a flyweight but as you can see it's shaped in a sort of ramp shape so as that comes underneath I don't know if you're going to see this very well so as that comes underneath the um, the lever it'll lift that lever arm up you know because it'll um, it'll lift it up and basically allow the exhaust valve to latch and then when it slows back down again it allows the, uh, the lever to drop back down not sure why I'm explaining this very well, but you'll see when it's functional and running. And uh, obviously it allows it then to fire again and go back into another hit and miss cycle. Now the uh, ignition system is uh, purely mechanical, quite beautiful actually. Again, it's all tucked away behind here and hidden behind here. So you've got the um, uh, the incoming um, well power line, which runs around this spring here, flat spring, and then another contact there. And it's driven by a little cam, which you can't see because the flywheel, flywheel's in the way. The little cam basically opens and closes the contact points, sending the uh, signal to the ignition, and the ignition then sending the uh, uh, the um, high voltage through the high through the high tension lead to the spark plug, firing the engine. And um, well, I mean, just looking at it, it really is quite actually beautiful. This little exhaust pipe, little exhaust pot. Also mirroring the uh, the balls around the around the engine, that's really beautifully machined. Actually, very very similar to the original. Um, you know, on the monitor, it's got a lovely uh, monogram there. M O. I don't know whether whether that's part of the uh, Okomo thing or or part of the monitor thing. Now, when when Jin first released these. Uh, I think there was a couple of hundred that were on special release, and they actually had the uh, the monitor uh, monogram there. Monogram is that the right word? Yeah, I think so. 
Uh, unfortunately, mine hasn't. And Jin also signed the uh, the first 200 copies underneath there. So if yours says Jin and a number, then you're very lucky indeed. So where did we get to? That's obviously the um, the fuel intake. That's your needle valve. That's your air intake hole. And obviously that feeds down into the engine. Uh, this is the um, the intake valve. That's just a, a free spring-loaded one, which uh, obviously when the engine uh, goes into uh, uh, induction, it pulls that down via suction, sucks the air into the engine, compresses it, boom, the spark, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think I've covered most of it. Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, the little oiler. I'll do that now while I'm here as well. So it's a total loss uh, oiling system. Um, so uh, let me find my oil. There it is. So basically you fill that little hopper with oil. Fill it up to the top. Okay. And then that will slowly drip through. I think there's a needle valve at the bottom or it might be something to do with that hole there. Uh, so we can... We can sort of pinch that up and then just back it off a fraction just to allow the oil uh, to seep you know into the uh, the cylinder and lubricate the uh, the inside of the cylinder and the uh, obviously the piston as well incidentally this this bulked out area here has got um water channels down it so obviously the you know that's like a water jacket all the way around the cylinder and the, the heat rise in the hot water will rise up into the the cooler hopper above and that'll get replaced with colder water so it's um it's a really quite nicely designed um cooling system actually to be honest it doesn't really run hot because uh being in hit and miss mode uh it, you know it fires fairly well about every second or something like that so um now it did come with a a, a little um like a dog spindle uh, which you could turn the engine over with because I had some problems at the beginning to get it started, I did an awful lot of turning it over with a drill bit, and I have managed to like mangle the uh, the metal nut there. So anyway, I'm going to replace that. But what I, you know, I mean, the other option is to work uh, to use this string. It did come with a handle, but I've pulled the handle off. Uh, so I tell you what, we'll do. We'll um, we'll wrap that around as so. And then uh, turn the engine on. Um, I should have given it a bit of a pull first for the, uh, you know, to get the car primed. But let's uh, let's give it a go. That's it, and it'll start firing once it gets. Come on, neatly. Like I say, I've had a little bit of trouble with it. Sometimes it'll run, sometimes it won't. Uh, so we'll try again. It might have been I didn't prime it up actually first, so uh, we'll try again. Oh, you're gonna play up on me, are you? Oh, there's always one of them in there, there's always one of them. Uh, right, so the other option I have, but uh, I have made this, um, it's just a nylon cup really that uh, slips over there and with a little bit of. Uh, uh, you know, a bit of an angle, I can get it to grip it and spin it over, so let's make sure I'm going the right way, yeah. It's not having it now, is it? Right. Like I say, I still haven't found this full sweet spot. Sorry about that noise. Come on. Come on. No, you've gone again. See, I'm not quite sure you see because um, people have said it needs to be like three quarters of a turnout, but you know what? I've been trying everything. Certainly seems to need to come out a bit more. I'm sure you're all screaming at me saying, Hey, did you going to do this? But, you know. I know I shouldn't really do it that fast, but... Uh, yeah, so that's all. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, I'll hold it down. Nearly there, it's nearly running. I don't know why it doesn't quite run, but. Let's get some fuel in here. Okay, so I'm gonna wind it all the way in. And then I'm going to back it off three quarters of a turn, as recommended. See, that definitely doesn't work for me. Okay, so I'm just going to do a minor adjustment. Now, what you have got down here, where your uh, points are, uh, you can't, there is an actual little screw where you can um, loosen, and that allows you to sort of change the position of the um, well, the points, so to allow it to fire, you know, slightly later or slightly earlier. Um, I have been fiddling about with that, and you know what? I thought I'd actually got it nailed, but um, I'm back to square one again with the looks of things. Okay, so that's very just slightly lighter ignition, and uh, well, it just seems a bit temperamental. It does what it wants to do, but and it, it does jump around a little bit, but it's not too bad. I think it. Uh, you know, I'll put it on this board because uh oh, oh, you bugger. Oops. Just a bit louder without that. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh it's stuck him off everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, as you can see, I mean it's um well now it's working again. That was rather mm, inconvenient. Oh thank you, Engine. You knew you were on the on the uh, but you know the cameras were running, didn't they? That was what it was. Oh, look, see, I touch it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. No, oh, that's okay. Well, it's doing its thing. Until it isn't doing its thing. Well, it's playing up again. Hopefully, um, the next section of this video will show it running uh, quite beautifully. So uh, I might see you there. If not, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.